It was a historic moment for all of us at Incom. Al Saflia was not only going to be the first lift boat built in Incom, but also in Qatar, for Qatar. It was exciting and overwhelming all at the same time. We had done many rig repairs in the past, but a new building project is a whole new ball game. Al Saflia was to be our biggest challenge yet, but we were confident we could deliver. The construction process involved some 2,100 tons of fabrication for 16 steel blocks, the hull of the lift boat, along with three levels of living quarters, a wheelhouse, and a radio room, among others. 45,000 inch diameter of pipes were fabricated to form part of several major systems, such as the bilge and ballast system, fuel system, compressed air system, as well as the leg jetting system. Fabrication of the lift boat's four 100-meter cylindrical legs, leg racks, and leg pads were also carried out concurrently. Once the hull was assembled, we then proceeded with the installation of major equipment onto the lower decks of the lift boat. This included four 1,500-kilowatt Caterpillar engines, compressors, switch gears, a chiller unit, STP, thrusters, and VFD. Al Saflia was by far our biggest project yet, not only in terms of scale, but also manpower utilized. There were over 70 contractors engaged, and we had more than 1,000 people working on the lift boat at its peak. It was our responsibility to ensure that everyone, be it an INCOM staff member or a contractor, adhered to the yard's safety rules and procedures. Apart from the daily VSCC meetings, we conducted mass safety briefings and also held monthly safety drills. We routinely rewarded those who demonstrated exemplary work safety behavior to keep the morale high and propagate the desired safety culture among the workforce. Once the installation of the jack cases and upper guides were complete, we then proceeded with the assembly and erection of the four cylindrical legs. This was one of the more critical stages of the project, as the legs of this self-propelled and elevating lift boat would ultimately determine its stability when operating in the field. Following the erection of the respective jack cases and crane pedestals, we then carried out the installation of the crane platform and A-frame for the 50-ton and 200-ton leg encircling crane, as well as the machining of the crane pedestals. Part of two industry giants, Nakalot and Keppel Offshore and Marine, naturally there was interest in this project from various parties. Despite the pressure, 
the team exceeded expectations at every stage and successfully achieved 2 million safe man hours without any LTIs. This achievement further motivated us to ensure the project was delivered safely at the end of the day. The loadout and launching process was one of the major milestones achieved on this project and it showcased our engineering and operational strength. We had to move the 7200 ton structure that was fully constructed by this time from the fabrication area to the sea. Detailed engineering and execution plans were meticulously prepared to ensure this proceeded without a hitch. On the 2nd of November 2015, this milestone launching process was successfully achieved. The launch of the lift boat affirmed the vessel's structural integrity and functionality of its jacking and other major systems. We then proceeded to carry out the remaining work in the accommodation unit and various tests such as the jacking, inclination, and sea trials. The success of these new trials affirmed conformance to the lift boat's design criteria and that we had accomplished a major milestone in INCOM's history. The January 2016 was a defining moment for INCOM as we handed over Al Safliya, our first ever major new building project and the first lift boat to be wholly constructed in Qatar to client GDI. Al Safliya is not only a symbol of INCOM's capabilities, but also that of the growing expertise within Qatar itself to support its own offshore industry towards the achievement of National Vision 2030.